In this video, you will learn about the functionality Keywords Everywhere adds to YouTube and how it helps you optimize and grow your YouTube channel. We have separate videos on how Keywords Everywhere works on different websites like Google, Amazon, eBay, and others. This video is only for YouTube. If you want to see videos on the other websites, you will find links to them below in the description. Let me first give you a quick overview of the various YouTube specific features that Keywords Everywhere has. I'll then go into detail with each of these features. We show the search volume, CPC, competition, and trend data for every YouTube search you perform right under the search box. You can also see the same data in the YouTube Auto Suggest drop-down. We add a bunch of widgets on the right-hand side of every YouTube search. These are the Find YouTube Keywords widget, Search Insights widget, Trend Chart widget, Trending and Related Keywords widget, and the Most Used Tags widget. We add SERP metrics to each of the top 20 YouTube results shown for your search. You can view these metrics under the video title and above the channel name for the top 20 videos shown in the results. We also add two widgets to the right hand side of every video page called the Video Insights widget and the YouTube Tags widget. I'll now take you through each of these features in detail. When you do a search on YouTube, you will find the monthly search volume and other data right under the search box. This will cost you a single credit for every search that you perform. If you have the Show Metrics and Autocomplete Suggestion drop-down setting enabled, then whenever you start to perform a search, you will also see this data for every keyword that YouTube suggests for you in the drop-down. This is a useful way of quickly finding high-volume keywords as you modify your search query. Note that you are charged one credit for every keyword shown in the Autocomplete drop-down. Let's move on to the widget shown on the right-hand side. Clicking the Find YouTube Keywords button will open a new page that will use YouTube's Autosuggest API to find thousands of long tail keywords for your search query. This is useful when researching a head term to see if there are any other long tail versions of this head term that have decent search volume. Note that each keyword found here will cost you a single credit. The next widget shown is the trend chart. We use the Google Trends API for YouTube to estimate search volume data from 2008 for every keyword. I've put a link in the description below to an article that explains in detail how we do this. If you are a free user, you will still see the trend chart, but not the historical search volumes. We have a separate tool for users who want this historical volume data in bulk. It's called the Bulk Trends Data, and it can be found in the pop-up menu of our extension. Above the trend chart, we show the Search Insights widget. If you'd like to analyze the YouTube results, you should click the Show Advanced Metrics button. Once clicked, it will take about a minute for the advanced metrics to load. We have a detailed article on how these advanced metrics are calculated. I've linked to the article in the description below. We're also creating a new video that explains these metrics. When that's done, I will add a link to the same as well. The Search Insights widget gives you insights into the YouTube search results for the query. It tells you what the ranking difficulty is for this query, the number of average views one can expect from ranking for this query, and gives you an analysis of query optimization done by the videos shown. When you click the Show Advanced Metrics button, the tool also embeds SERP metrics for the top 20 YouTube videos shown in the search results. You can see these metrics embedded between the title and the channel name for every video. The metrics shown here are the SEO metrics. For example, how optimized each video is for the search query, the approval, engagement rates, and the average views per day. Back to the right-hand sidebar, three more widgets may be shown under the trend chart. The most used tags, the trending keywords, and related keywords widgets. The Most Used Tags widget shows up only after you click the Show Advanced Metrics button. We analyze the top 20 videos shown on the search results page and show you the tags that have been used by at least three of those videos. Along with the tags shown are the search volume, CPC, competition, and the 12-month trend data. You will see the Trending Keywords widget for a lesser number of queries as it only shows up for searches trending in the last 30 days. The Related Keywords widget shows keywords that are directly related to the search query. 
By default, these widgets will show you the volume, trend, and other data for each of the tags or keywords and will cost you one credit for each keyword or tag. If you want to save on credits, you can disable any of these widgets in the Credit Usage for Widgets section in the Settings page. Once disabled, there you will continue to see these widgets, but no credits will be used and no volume data will be shown. Finally, let's talk about the last two widgets that are shown on the video page for every YouTube video. The Video Insights widget analyzes this video and delivers multiple metrics like the optimization score, approval and engagement scores, and views per day for the video. The Tags widget lists down the tags that have been added to the video along with the search volume, CPC, competition, and the 12-month trend data. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can email us at help at keywordseverywhere.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and best of luck with your keyword research.